Hi, I'm Adam Porter. I'm a professor of computer science at the University of Maryland, and today I'm going to demonstrate for you a new Android application that we've created called Mobile Teacher. The Mobile Teacher app was initially developed by Ben Scazzaro, who was a student at the University of Maryland, and it was later added on to by myself and by Dr. Sandra Fouché of Towson University. Now, the purpose of the Mobile Teacher app is to support learning outside the classroom. And the way it works is we enable teachers to tag physical locations with assignments or questions that the students can then answer using the Mobile Teacher app only when they are in close physical proximity to the tagged location. So let's take a let's walk through an example. So um, in this uh, in this example, we're working with some professors from the University of Maryland's Plant Sciences and Landscape Architecture Department. Now they have a laboratory class called Woody Plants for Mid Mid Atlantic Landscapes. And one of the things they do when they teach this class is they physically walk students around the, the University of Maryland campus and they stop and they look at trees and they examine trees and they talk about individual and actual trees. Now, this is, uh, this is great, but it's expensive, it's time consuming, and, and, and worst of all, if the professor's not there, once the professor has done this lesson and then, and then moved on, the students can't easily repeat this process, practice on their own, and try to learn on their own. So Mobile Teacher is an app that tries to, that tries to improve or correct this problem. So let's, um, <clears throat> so let's go back to our demo. So I've, I've uh, initiated the application. This is the initial screen. It comes up with a, a map, and there's a blue icon indicating my current location, which in this case right now is on the University of Maryland College Park campus. So, um, okay, so let's, let's get started here. So I'm going to click on the menu, and you'll see here I bring up a set of, of menu options. Now, there's, uh, we can pull up assignments. We can... Uh, uh, set some settings and we can save and exit. Now right now you can see that the assignments option is grayed out because I need to give some some information to the to the application about who I am, what class I'm participating in, what specific assignment I want to do in that class. So let me click on settings okay and this will bring up some information that I need to fill in or uh, as a default. So let's, let's start with who I am. So I'll use the this Gmail account that I signed up with uh, which class am, uh, am I registered for? Um, so I have I've, uh, set myself up for one class, and that's this Demo 101 class. And then within the Demo 101 class, I need to pick a particular assignment that I want to work on right now. So the app goes back to the server. It, it finds out what assignments have been set up for this class. Right now we've got five assignments set up. And so let me click on this Trial Demo number six. Okay, so I've set that default information. I'll click back in the menu, and now we see that the, the map has been updated. So here's my current location, but then around there you see that we have nine separate locations, and these, are, these actually correspond to trees that are on the Maryland campus, and for each of these locations, each of these trees, there is a, one or more questions that we've set up um, about that particular tree. So one thing you'll notice here is that I've got these two um, trees here at the top. They appear in kind of a bright red, they have a bright red pin. And they're bright red because I am currently within 50 meters of those locations. And so the app is going to allow me to answer questions associated with these trees because I'm, I'm physically close to the trees. And so in theory, I can look at the tree, I can interact with the tree, um, I, can, I can have a real learning experience now. Um, for the other ones that are further away, we don't allow we don't allow the students to answer the questions, but they can, for example, click on the on the pin, and if they go further, they can click on get directions, and we can give them either walking or driving directions to that location. Okay, but for now, let's go back and look at the the questions that we're actually close to, the ones that we can actually answer at this moment. So I'm going to click on this pin right here. You can see this is location number nine in the set, and I'm going to go and answer questions about. Uh, that set. Okay, so uh, you'll see here now I've pulled up the questions that are associated with this particular tree. And this is tree 3421, and uh, there are two questions associated with with this tree. So let me click on the first one, and I'll go and answer it. So it says Ilexopaca is deciduous. This means that Ilexopaca loses all it, loses all its leaves every fall. Now this is a, you can see here there are two options. This is a true or false question. Let's say I decide that that answer is false. I can click on the false option, and I can click Save Answer. 
to locally store the store the question. And then you can see here that whereas before the status of that question was complete, it's now, I'm sorry, was incomplete, now it is complete. Now, in this particular example, um, let's say I didn't like the answer false, that really it should be true, I can go back, I can click on true, and I can save the answer again. Okay, and so right now the application works um, by, you, the, the students answer the questions and then we submit the questions back to a central server. In the future, we'll add a feature um, where we have a practice mode or a, a, an exam mode. Uh, and in the practice mode, the students will get some feedback as to whether or not they answered the question correctly or incorrectly. But for now, we just, we just take their answer and submit it back to the server so they can see it later or the teachers can see it later uh, and talk about that. Well, let's go to the, the next question here. Um, there's a second question that's still incompl incomplete. Let's click on that. And you can see here that there is a, uh, there's a question here, but it's not a, a true or false type question. It's actually a, a free text entry question. So it says, in the text box below, enter today's date and briefly describe the state of the tree's blossom. So today is the 22nd of March, 2012, and this particular tree um, is in blossom, but has not fruited yet. Okay, so I'll, that's my answer. I'll save that back and now you can see that both questions are complete. So I'm done with the questions for this particular uh, location. Let me hit the, the back button on the menu. Okay, the question was submitted um, and now we go back to, the, to the, the map view and one thing you'll see here is that where, there, where this pin used to be red, which indicated that the question was not complete yet, uh, it's now turned to green and that indicates that the question has been answered, you know, uh, all the parts of the question have been answered. So let's go to the next question here that we're, we're able to answer. This is in location number eight. I'm going to answer the question. And it says here, list one maintenance issue with this particular tree other than leaf cleanup. And this is a multiple choice question. You can see that the answer could be bark, fruit, flowers, or terminal buds. And so I think I'll just click on flowers. I'll save the answer. And now we go back to the map view and you can see that that pin has also changed from red to green. And now if I were to move my location towards these other maps here, these would eventually uh, go to light red and then I could answer those at that point. Okay, so that's, the, that's an initial demo of the mobile teacher app. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, would love to hear, hear from you. If you have ideas and thoughts about ways to improve it or, or other, other types of things you'd like to do with it, we'd love to hear. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.